Okay, so back on part two, the next morning, here I am. Let's go over what these are real quick. So, this is a buffer box. It's where the wastewater is collected and where termination point for all the drains is. This is a riser and it's connected to the buffer box. So we've got riser, pinch valve, activator, and buffer box. So when the water level in our buffer box rises through this hose, it senses it and it tells this activator that this is happening. The activator then activates and it tells this pinch valve up here to open. And so, when our sensor activates the activator, the discharge line gets the vacuum from the vacuum line, and it pulls a vacuum on the pinch valve, which makes the pinch valve open. And so, to diagnose this, I force it into a manual defrost, and watch what happens. I get water spilling out of the activator. I know that's not right. Water should not be here. This could only be coming from one place, and that's the discharge hose. Once water started coming out of this activator, it stopped working. And then my drain started overflowing. Unlike the day before, the activator stopped working completely. Because yesterday, it was still working. So by connecting the vacuum line to the discharge line with my hands, I activated that pinch valve. And as you can see, it sucks all that water right out. So if our activator was working properly, we wouldn't have any problems. But the activator can't work properly because it's getting water to it. So the pinch valve has a leaky diaphragm and it kills this activator. So both of those parts got to be replaced. Once I replace those, I think that this riser is going to work fine, and that should do it.